Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so after proving the formula for the sum of the first n integers in example one, I had a lame example two planned, which was to prove the formula for the sum of um, the squares of the first n integers. Uh, but a student on YouTube who asked if I could prove that two to the n is greater than n gave me a much better plan for example two. So I'll do the sum of the squares uh, formula as a bonus example seven. Um, so the question is, how do we prove this statement here? Because it's very different from example one. Well, um, our title and as usual, start with the basic case, uh, case n equals one. And in this case, we have to show that two to the first is greater than one. And that's trivially true, right? OK, cool. Um, and so then I'm not going to do case two. I'm going to skip to the all important inductive step, uh, the case k, right, where we let n equal k. And here, we assume that the given statement is true. That is, 2 to the k is greater than k. And based on this assumption, uh, we're going to show in the next step that um, 2 to the k plus 1 will have to be greater than k plus 1, right? This is the desired conclusion. But this is not immediate. This is not automatically true. So how do we show that this very last statement is true based on solely based on the assumption that 2 to the k is greater than, 1, greater than k, right? Okay, well, first we manipulate the left-hand side because by exponent rules, we know that two to the k plus one is two to the k times two to the one. And then we just merely rewrite the left-hand side, um, getting rid of the exponent of one on two, which we should, it's not doing anything. And then commutative property of multiplication allows us to write two to the k times two to the one as two times two to the k. But wait, we know how to interpret two times two to the k. 2 times 2 to the k means 2 to the k plus 2 to the k. And then we recall that in the inductive step, we said that 2 to the k is greater than k. So this 2 to the k is greater than that k, and this 2 to the k is greater than that k. So 2 to the k plus 2 to the k is greater than k plus k. But then, since we're talking about k values that are at minimum 1, we know that k plus k is greater than k plus 1. So by transitivity, we see that 2 to the k plus 2 to the k is greater than k plus 1. That is, we proved that 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1. Yeah? Cool. All right. I hope this made sense, and uh, keep watching. More examples to come.